Hey friends, I'm your host B7, and I'd like to warmly welcome you to this new series that I'm starting, where in each episode I'll be covering one board game with an overview, how to play, and a review. Today we're looking at Gum Gum Machine. This is an industry and puzzle game with set collection and memory mechanics. The game is designed by Stefan Dora and Ralph Zerlende, illustrated by Michael Menzel, and is published by Hooch. The game can be played by 2 to 4 players takes around 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 8 and up. The players take on the role of trainees at a laboratory that produce gum gums. A gum gum is, according to the rulebook, the best thing you can ever imagine. It's round, colorful, and everybody wants it. One gum gum is made of several gums and a black lid. You'd best try it out the machine straight away. Then you'll never ever want to be without gum gums again. The players are essentially trying to produce the best gum gums using the gum gum machine. The game end triggers as soon as the first player scores 30 points. The player with the most points at the end of the game will become an assistant to carry out research and work in the laboratory. Let me teach you how the game is played and I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards. This is how you set up the game. Pause the video to take a closer look if you'd like. The setup in this video is for two players. This is the gum gum machine, which is essentially the game board. This is the power switch to power up the machine and a specific switch number. If you remove the wooden handle, you'll see a number beneath it which refers to a specific switch number that's on the board. The board is divided into many different parts. Let's start out with the switches. Once you power up the machine for a specific switch, that switch turns on. Push the switch to the other side and you follow the path of the pipe. There are six different colored gums to collect and one black lid. As you move along, you may collect or skip any gums, including the lid, but you can never go backwards. If you happen to pick up a gum with an action printed below it, you carry out the action. More on this later. If the space is empty, you just simply skip it, even if it has an action printed on it. You may not collect a gum of the same color that you already have. And you have, to, and you have to end your stack of gums with a black lid in order to score points for your stack of gums. You score a specific amount of points based on how many different colored gums you have collected, and that is topped off with a black lid. You measure the, st the stack of gums using the gum gumometer, and you score that amount of points. Once you score points, you return all of your gums including the black lid back to the bag. Then you proceed to refill the board with gums. Just make sure that there are three black lids present on the board and which aren't adjacent to each other. Your turn ends as soon as one of the three situations occur. The pipe that you're following comes to an end. You carry out an action from which no pipe leads off. You complete your gum gum and score points. That's pretty much how you play, although there are some extra sections on the board, so let me explain how those work. If you come across an icon with a gear wheel, piston or flame, you just pr proceed down to that icon's pipe and play normally. Liquid refinement sections, which include the blue wheel and the green wheel. Once you land on any of these, you just give the cover a quarter turn in the direction of the arrow and carry out the new action that is displayed. The blue section lets you continue from one of the pipes or lets you proceed to the assembly line. The green section lets you steal one gum in one of the two depicted colors from other players, if available. It is up to you which color to choose. If you haven't had this color yet, you may add this gum to your gum gum pile. If the color already exists in your pile, you have to put the gum back into the bag. The assembly line may gain you two gums. Take two gums from the back and push them from above under the assembly line cover. Now two gums come out of, the, out of the bottom. If you don't already have those colors in your pile, you may add them to your pile. If you already have one or both colors in your pile, then you only take the color that you don't already have. Put the other one or ones back into the bag. If you have drawn a black lid, you must finish your gum gum and value it. In any case, your turn ends after this action. 
The crossover switch lets you perform one of the four actions that are displayed by pushing one of these switches forward. You gain the action of the icon in between these two switches. The turntable includes four different sides, which you'll select one of these sides at the beginning of the game. Depending on which side you chose, the action will be different. The four different sides of the turntable include quality control, service indicator, random checks, and pressure gauge. Pause the video to take a look at what these actions or turntables do. Once you're done with your turn, the next player in clockwise order takes their turn. This continues until the game end trigger occurs. The game end occurs once a player has 30 or more points. Once this happens, each other player may have one extra turn. And then the game ends. The player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. Gum Gum Machine is an industry and puzzle game with set collection and memory mechanics. The game is designed by Stefan Dora and Ralph Zerlande. The game is illustrated by Michael Menzel. I'm a big fan of both game designers and of the artists, so I was really excited to try this one out. Worth to note that the designer duo did work on lots of games together, including Pergamon, Triketa, Milestones, and other games. The theme and setting are incorporated into the game and gameplay very well. The game presents an intriguing challenge for players to operate the gum gum machine. The artwork in the game looked really cool and was very well illustrated. I really enjoyed all of the colors used in this game, including on the game box. They really stood out. The components used in the game were fantastic. The game board is thick and is double layered. The gums were chunky wooden discs that felt awesome. The turntables were also very well done and I loved flicking on that arrow. The gameplay is somewhat enjoyable. I've had an okay time playing this one. There's some level of luck involved, and especially at the beginning. Once you figure out which switches to activate, you'll get the hang of it real quick, and you'll be able to pursue the gums that you require in no time. The game, en the game somewhat ends very quickly. I was hoping for a longer game, although this can be solved by increasing the point count and using the variable components included. The game included a lot of, and I do mean a lot of components, to customize the gum gum machine. This makes the game highly replayable. Just take a look at all of these components. Overall, gum gum machine is an okay game that might be worth trying out, especially for fans of either game designers. The game is not very complex and is an easy game to teach and play. The overall production quality and artwork present in the game really makes the game stand out. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you have any questions or you just want to talk, leave a comment down below and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. See you in the next episode.